Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I wanted to talk about the Givenchy Le Rouge Night Noir lipsticks. They are a new collection of sheer color lipsticks that are all kind of um, a dark color. So I purchased two of them. I believe there are six colors. They are supposed to be a sheer application, but the pictures that they show online, the lip swatches that they have on their website or on Sephora's site, they look a lot better than what I have been able to get. So I've been checking out some of the reviews that people have written in there. Isn't too much out yet since this is a new product, but it looks like other people are having the same issues uh, that I am. I do want to test out um, the colors that I purchased with you today. I purchased Le Rouge Night Noir okay, from Sephora and I have two of them. I have number four night and blue and you can see the top of the box color coded and it does have some sparkle on there and if you look at these cases you can see that the cases are gorgeous I love um, Givenchy's lipstick packaging in general so you can see that it's black it's got a textured finish and it has red and silver and black sparkles in here okay so what you're gonna do you've got just pull down on the little triangles and this is night in blue okay and if you look at that up close you'll see some of the sparkle in the lipstick okay so I wore this one actually all day on Friday and it it does wear nicely once you get it on however it looks better from a distance than it does up close. I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes. The other color that I purchased is number six, Night in Gray. And this one looks black. It actually matches the case. So it's black with um, red and black sparkle in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Why is that focusing? So that might be a little bit better. All right, so that's actually what I have on my lips right now. And it does look better from a distance than it does up close. You can see all of my dry skin on my lips. You can see some of the patchiness. However, I think the night in gray applies a lot better than the night in blue. So let's do some swatches. So let's start with number four, night in blue. And I'll just swatch that on my hand first for you. So you can see it is supposed to be a sheer application. And I believe this one's described as a sheer blackberry. So it is very plummy in color. And there's actually one that I believe is called Sheer and Plum that is a much pinker version of this. That was another one that I uh, considered purchasing. And I really do like these colors, but I'm not thrilled with the application. So let me show you what that looks like as I'm applying. And you can see how much you have to build it up. So that is one sheer coat. And if you want to get this deeper, it is buildable. Okay, so that's about two coats. And then if you want to go even deeper, you can, but you will, look, you can already see the patchiness. There are definitely areas that are darker than others. So this is about as dark as I've been able to get it. And if you look up close, you can see all of the different um, variations. You can see that it settles into the lines um, with the different pigments. And I mean, you, you can see that some areas are definitely more pigmented than others. So it's a patchy application. And um, basically it will set down a little bit and it will wear like this for most of the day. It does, does look a little bit patchy after you point it for a while. Let me blot it and show you what that looks like. So now you can definitely see more of my um, real lips showing through. And you can see again that the blue is concentrated in areas um, and it has worn off more on basically my upper lip. So 
if you are doing your normal daily activities and you're eating and drinking, this is what it will basically look like. If you apply it and you kind of leave it alone, you don't eat or drink anything, it will pretty much stay the way um, it was just a minute ago. All right, so overall, I really like this color, but I wish that it was a smoother application. It feels nice on the lips, so it's not gritty or anything like that, and it doesn't dry out my lips, but I really don't like the patchy application. So I would still purchase it again just because I think it's unique and I really like the color, but unfortunately, um, it's not something that I'm going to purchase more lipsticks of um, just because I think the application needs to be improved. All right, so um, let me get Night and Gray and let's try that on. Okay, so let's swatch number six, Night and Gray, and let's put that on my hand. We'll put that right next to the Night and Blue, and you can see that this one is a much deeper color. It still has a purple tone to it, um, but it is much more of an aubergine or eggplant purple than the blackberry um, for the night in blue. And you can definitely pick up on the sparkle. It actually looks a bit more multicolored uh, on here. All right, so again, let's go through and see how this applies. So this is one sheer application. And again, if you are interested in just one light application, these colors, they, they apply very nicely with a one light coat. Um, they aren't as patchy with that, you can see. But again, there is some settling into the lines of my lips and accentuation of my dry skin. All right, so let's get this a little deeper. All right, so this is two coats. And now it's starting to look a lot more of a dark purple with some blackberry showing through, in my opinion. And you can see that it does have a nice sparkle on the lips. And we can get this slightly darker. Sorry, the application there is a little messy. All right, so this is about as dark as I've been able to get this color. And if you look at this one closely, it doesn't have as much of a patchy look as Night and Blue. You can still see my dry skin. It does still settle into some of the lines, but I think that this one applies better than Night and Blue. So I really like this one. This one is one that I would consider repurchasing in the future because I feel this application um, is a little bit better than the Night and Blue. And the color is unique enough that I really uh, enjoy it. So I think it's a, just an interesting color to wear, um, kind of different from what you would normally wear. And kind of with the grungy lipsticks and stuff coming back, I really like I'm really liking a lot of these darker, more unique colors. As a matter of fact, I have the Pat McGrath Noir lip balms coming and I can't wait to see those. Uh, they should be much more sheer than this, but I'm very excited to see those as well because again, those are gonna be more of a black and blue color as well. So overall, these are gorgeous packaging. You can't fault the packaging at all. I really, really like it. It's got a nice heft to it. And I love the sparkle on here. However, I think that you have to be cautious which colors you are purchasing. And when I, I actually went into a Sephora and swatched the colors that they had, they didn't have all of them out. Um, for example, there's a gold one that I did not see there. But a lot of the others, let's see here, there's a red, there's a plum, um, gold, blue, gray, and one that's called light. Um, I don't remember seeing the light one there either. However, the red and the plum are much more of a traditional color, in my opinion. Again, in the tube, they look very, you know, dark and beautiful and unique. But when you actually swatch them, they looked more like ordinary lipsticks that I already have. Um, for example, the Night and Plum 
looks like, um, it kind of reminded me, and this is just from my memory because I haven't worn this in many years, but if you remember Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey, more of that sheer blackberry color. Um, that's what Night and Plum reminded me of. And then Night and Red, again, was is more of a, a sheer red color. It didn't seem that pigmented. Uh, so these were the two that I selected. I am happy with the two that I purchased. I would not repurchase Night and Blue. And I will have to be careful when I do wear that because, again, if you're going through regular activities, I feel that one ends up looking patchier throughout the day. Whereas this one... Um, it does have some patchiness, but I feel like this one wears a little bit better. So please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I can't wait to hear from you. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. All right, thank you so much.